So this is a toolbox review of my Matco Tools Jamestown box, my roll around, and my Matco Double Bay 4S with the power drawer and the locker. First, we're gonna go with the uh, Jamestown box that I've had for three or four years now. <sighs> Dirty, heavily used, uh, very reliable. Um, the only thing that I have had a problem with this box is that now these locks here don't lock all the time. Um, and it's it has something to do with these uh, feet not catching on this. This will move back and forth. Um, but overall, she's been very, very reliable. Um, one thing I will say is that one of these wheels, I don't remember which one, is not level so sometimes it'll rock or the wheel will spin um but all the drawers are still good after three or four years um i believe i bought this box for about 2200 dollars. it's not overly full right now but still got a lot of tools in here um and even this drawer being like like mostly full um I don't feel a problem with it rolling at all. I don't have to slam any drawers. There's my Milwaukee drawer. Um, you know, all of these weigh a couple pounds. Um, still no problem. This drawer holds all the, the big ratchet, you know, the big half inch. That's about 33 inches long, 32 inches long, I think. Um, let's see if it says it on here. 30 it's probably 30 i guess I don't know. but between those and this one this one's mostly empty also but that's because i just bought the 4s because this was my first box i bought the jamestown box and i bought a uh, husky before this that was a good box but it was flimsy um, I will say, and you just see me, I had to pull it out more. That was one of the problems I've had with this box, but I'm pushing down on it right now and it doesn't really have much flex. It's sturdy. Um, but yeah, I bought this box mainly so I can grow. And this is my fullest drawer other than my power drawer. Um, bought this so I can grow. A lot of these drawers are empty. But yeah, I got my MDI, uh, as I am a Chevy tech. Got my Matco scanner. Um, there is the power strip with the uh, shielded extension cord. The uh, snap-on lights that I lost one of. But the cool thing about these is that they will both, oh, well, let's see here. Is this one not in the way? Okay, yeah. They both turn on. Now, do I have a use for something like that? Probably not, but still kind of neat, I guess. Okay, um, so this is about a one inch drawer. And um, it can fit my calipers. These are snap-on files that I've only used a few times. And uh, they kind of rusted, but they're files and I'm not really worried about them. I use them very often, but when I need them, I need them. Um, this is this drawer is mostly stuff that I don't use all the time. This box is mostly stuff I don't use all the time. Like, yeah, this drawer just has some paperwork in it, ASC stuff, and some uh, Phillips head screwdrivers that I don't ever use. This is what I call the oh shit drawer. Um, drill bits, um, extractors, stud removers, um, tap sockets, the $600 drill bit set, and then however much this was, I don't remember. Um, but I love this kit and I love these drill bits. If, you know, if you haven't seen these, let me get these open for you. Let me set this phone down real quick. Okay. So here's our, the, here are the drill bits and you see they're like a step bit built in. Now it doesn't go all the way down but most of the way, like, 
see if it'll focus here. See, that one is not a step, but that is a, I don't know, can't read it right now, but yeah, these are awesome drill bits. Definitely worth, worth buying. I wouldn't say for the price, but they're definitely worth buying, especially if you do this every day, if you haven't. The last, the smallest row is not warrantable. You have to purchase them. It's my little engraver, I think, that I got for a present. Let's see here. Uh, Dremel. And then this drawer is also empty, minus my uh, bearing and uh, bushing driver set. This drawer is also empty, very deep. Matco emblem there. Matco tools in the Silver Eagle on the bottom. You have a power strip on top and the Made in the United States emblem. Here's the black emblem. And here's the liner. I've had it for a few months now, so it is, it is a little dirty. Um, the liner is pretty thick. Don't have a problem with it. Lots of room. Um, pretty deep from what I was used to. I was used to a about a 24-inch uh, box. It was longer. The Husky was longer. But this is definitely the better box without question. Okay, so this is the locker i have my air hammer um my coolant pressure tester my box for my what is this this is the versa pro 3 what was in here uh my okay my battery pack my uh, jump box this is cylinder leakage tester kit and then vacuum tester and back there is a old school harmonic balancer uh, remover and installer down shelf is my compression tester um what is this deluxe relay test kit that's useful but you probably don't have to buy it oil pressure gauge this is the ball joint press, um, air hammer, uh, fan tool, New, let's see what it's actually called, pneumatic fan clutch wrench set, PFC 440. That's going to come in handy, especially if we're going on big trucks or um, old school stuff. These are chassis ears. Let me get these out of here and show you guys. This is a cool tool, um, but I'm not really a front end guy, so I don't really use it that much. Um, I feel like I'd probably have better luck using a Pico scope. But basically these are like walkie talkies and they all talk to the box and then you can click the channels and uh, it'll play it through the speaker and it'll show you basically a volume level it says signal but it'll basically show you a volume level um and going down the road it's really kind of hard to, to tell with this but it can be useful to somebody but just not me not right now it doesn't weigh nothing cheap chinese made stuff i'm not really a fan of and here i have the i just bought these so I didn't have to buy anybody or use anybody else's tools. Uh, so that's my power string pump and alternator pulley remover set. Um, uh, clutch alignment tool, pilot bearing tool, piston ring compressor, valve spring compressor, and an ATSG for my C6 that is on my channel, rebuild kit for the carburetor for the straight six that's on the uh, the Bishop and ratchet straps. Uh, the only thing about this box I don't really like right now is that 
you can see here that the locker sits lower than the box and you can see through it there. Um, that's because they didn't have the correct bracket at the time of purchase. My Maco guy is getting me the correct bracket. And you can set stuff up here. Um, it's got about a two inch or three inch uh, lip that goes down pretty. I think this is, let's see here, how, how wide is this? The locker itself is 26th and an eighth inch wide and 27 and a half inches deep. Um, but yeah, this is a big boy and I love it because if it wasn't for the locker, this box would probably already be mostly full, which would have been fine. Um, but I would have had to buy the locker sooner. So, well, tell me guys what you think and what you guys want to see next. You guys have a wonderful day wonderful weekend uh, please like and subscribe thank you for watching